Hi there, it's Steve Hart, and I'm going to help you today discover your future. It just so happens I have with me my crystal ball. So let me look into my crystal ball and let me see if I can tell what's coming up into your future. Ah, uh, yes, I can see that your future is hidden within you, not in my crystal ball. Now there are people who have a gift who are able to be able to see the energy patterns that are within you and make a prediction or are able to describe to you what those patterns are. But the truth is you have full control over what's going to take place. Now it's a combination of what's in your subconscious, within your conscious mind, and, and, and your intention. So. <coughs> You have the power to determine your future. Now you have to recognize the energy patterns within you. Now not everybody's able to do that. And that's why you sometimes you need help from other people. Because sometimes they can see it much clearer than you can. At the same time, I encourage you to pursue, go within, and discover what those energy patterns are. Because those energy patterns that are currently moving within your being are the seed of the future of what's to come. And you can alter them. Some can, some, can, some cannot. It depends on who you are. There are certain rules that you cannot change within life itself. So you may call those fate. At the same time, there is free will. The question is, where is your intention? Where are you focusing on? Because whatever it is you focus on, that is what you will get. Did you hear what I just said? Focus on what you want and that's what you will get. Believe it or not, you can actually reprogram those energy patterns within your subconscious. And you'd be surprised what will happen if you begin to do exercise that. And here's a re real simple exercise that I do. First thing, I do meditate, I get quiet, I go within, and I listen, and I let spirit reveal to me whatever it wants to reveal, whatever it wants me to see. But the question I ask, and I encourage you to ask this question, I say, what is mine to do today? What is mine to do today? Because that right there has made the biggest impact on my life to be able to accomplish more things to get more things done and for me to create the future which I am experiencing, which this future I desire. And you could do the exact same thing too. So go within and ask every day, every morning when you get up, you say, what is mine to do today? And you'd be surprised what will show up. And don't struggle. Now, I know some of you have jobs and you have a schedule that you have to fit with them. And I understand why those jobs and that schedule's there. But in any capacity in which you can free yourself from that, I encourage you to do so. We are creatures not to be built into a slave system, but we have been f created to be free and to pursue our dreams and desires. Now you say, Steve, that may be easy for you, but maybe not for me. Well, that is a choice, my friend. That is a choice that you make. I can tell you right now, the people who I've just am recently in contact with, a number of them have walked away from their jobs and their current schedules and have found a new freedom. It's not the job itself. It's the work that we do that makes a difference. And that's why you need to have that freedom so you can ask the question, what is mine to do today? And then implement that into your work, into your daily schedule. Well, I hope this has been some kind of an encouragement for you. And remember, ask the question, what is mine to do today? God bless.